What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about what everyone has wanted me to talk about for a while, and that is a complete rebuild of our 2022 Nissan Frontier. Let's get into it. So if you guys remember, if you watched the last video, we previously went up to North Georgia, did some off-roading, and we broke our second CV within six months um, off-roading out there in that area. So obviously the truck is not set up for that. And I finally figured out why the truck kept breaking. It is because there's too much droop on this side. So the R180 diff, right? The front diff in here, it is not like a lot of range of motion from like full um, up travel to full down travel. You're looking at eight and a half inches. Anything more than that, and she's gonna snap. Um, so what we could have done to save us this whole hassle was we could have just left the front sway bar on and it would have saved us from over traveling. Um, but, problem is you would have got like five inches of travel maybe so that's not going to work for what we want to do anymore we want as much travel as we can get without breaking something or without solid axle swapping because that's too much money for me um i did a whole video on that basically you're looking at at least 15 grand to solid axle swap both of them so no thanks anyway now in all fairness when i first bought this truck and did this build and picked out this uh lift i had no interest in doing heavy off-roading right the truck was really meant to get me to campsites and to get me up out of the water nothing really crazy but since i've been doing more off-roading you know i finally figured out that i like it and i want to do more and this lift will not suffice for what we want to do so you guys can pretty much figure out we're going to go a full titan swap on the third gen here and when i say full i mean full and wait 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 i went yesterday and picked up this part um, I did a bunch of footage yesterday, so let me show you what we got from the junkyard yesterday. All right, so we are on the way to a junkyard who I spoke to yesterday, and they said they have two Nissan Titans. Um, they think both of them still have their front diffs, so uh, I think they said they were 2013s, 2012s. I can't remember what they said. Anyway, we're on the way to check it out. All right, so it's a dollar just to get in here and look, but... They said they got a couple uh, Nissan Titans, so we're going to go check them out. And at most, if you don't want to do the labor yourself, at most, they charge 150 bucks, And they'll take out either the engine or... They didn't have a, they didn't have a rate specifically for um, front diffs, so the most expensive option they had was the engine. That's $157. <laughs> so, um, if they do have it... I bet you it's gonna be pretty cheap. All right, let's go check it out. We found all the Nissans. So let's take a look and see if we can find the Titans. Okay, let's see. There might be one there. No, that's a Armada. Never seen so much crap in my life. All right, I think we found one. That's a Titan there. It's not looking good. All right, that one's two-wheel drive. All right, let's take a look here. Here's the other one, and this also looks to be two-wheel drive. So, uh, I don't know if there's any more. I'm going to take a look real quick. Well, here's an Armada. I'm not sure what year, but it does have CVs. So she is a four wheel drive. Got to find out what year this thing is. And uh, you might take it. Well, I got my hopes up for a minute. This is, a, this is an Infiniti QX56, but we need an 07 to 012 and this is a 2004 so i don't think that's gonna work so i was about to leave out of here because i wasn't sure if that one would work but then i saw this i didn't realize it was a titan because it's sitting on the ground but this thing has got everything got our cvs right there tie rods dips in there and this is a 2007 titan so this would work. Let's see how much they want for it. 
All right, so all I gotta do, I'm gonna take a double check real quick and make sure this is the right M205. I don't know if there's any difference to them, but the guy I talked to said, make sure it's a three rib M205. So uh, dude's coming around with the uh, backhoe and then he's gonna pick it up because it's sitting on the ground. So uh, pick it up, I can get a look at it. And if it's right, they said they'll give me the CV axles, both of them, upper control arms, lower control arms, and the front diff. And they're gonna remove it themselves instead of me doing it. 430 bucks so <laughs> if uh that's what they're gonna do then i'm gonna let them do it all right so i guess it's right you really can't tell with it in there but uh honestly it's so cheap i'm just gonna get it anyway and if it's not i'll just sell it again um i did notice the cv axle the boot was ripped so i'm just gonna get the front diff the lower control arms you can get on rock auto for i mean fairly cheap so i might just get new ones of those i don't know if this thing was in a wreck i don't think i it didn't look like it was in a wreck, but it's a junkyard, so everything looks like it was in a wreck. Uh, anyway, we'll get the front diff and the... I'm unsure about the CV. Well, the one CV for sure we're not getting because it's got a tear in the boot, so... Maybe we'll just get the front diff, buy everything else brand new. I'm not sure. All right, so we basically went ahead and got the front diff and the upper and lower control arms. One of the CVs had a tear on the boot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace both of them. I don't trust them. Plus they all could be messed up, I don't know. So anyway, we spent $399.94 and that's for them to remove all that. I just gotta come back here later when they call me and pick it up. So that's not too bad. <laughs> um, if that gets us everything we need, all we gotta get are the tie rod extensions and we gotta get CVs. Other than that, we should be good to go. So here she is, leaking oil everywhere. Uh, but, I mean, it's in really good shape. I don't see any issues with it. Uh, there's not much play it's solid in there. Um, I don't think it's really going to matter in there or not because I'm gonna put 410 gears in here to help with the 35s and all that stuff. So anyway, we got our M205 front and diff ready. It's gonna be the hardest part because trying to find one, trying to source one that's the right one that's not beat up, that's not, you know, even affordable, you know, even finding one can be kind of hard. So um, I'm super glad we found that. Everything else, I mean, it's just gonna be when you get the money, you buy it. That's the only part I have to really, I had to source. So um, anyway, we're gonna remove the Rough Country kit. That's coming off completely. And we're gonna go full Titan swap with the M205, keep the 35s and uh, see what that gets us. So I think we did a good job showing you what the Rough Country kit will do and what it will not do. Um, I think they held up pretty good for what we were doing with it, what my original plan was for the truck. But now that has changed, now that we wanna do so much more uh, hardcore off-roading, um, this kit is just not a good fit whatsoever. So we're gonna change it up. So I really ended up only getting the, the, um, the diff. I didn't really get the upper control arms or the lower control arms. The upper control arms, I figured out I would have to replace those anyway with some high clearance ones. Uh, the lower control arms, I guess they would have been okay, but they're so cheap. You can get them from Rock Auto, uh, a good quality one for like 85 bucks a piece. So you might as well just get new ones on those. Um, the CVs we didn't get because it they had the tears and uh, the boots on both of them. Um, so I was going to get new one of those. And then I think we're going to run rad flows on the Nissan. Uh, I heard a lot of good things about them. Everyone seems to like them. They're more on the affordable side, affordable side for... Um, those kinds of shocks so we're gonna run that but just having that m205 already get ready to go is a big big help so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll start this build and we'll see you next time